In this mod review, we're going to take a look at the Freightliner Classic XL for American Truck Simulator. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we're having a look at the Freightliner Classic XL for American Truck Simulator. Now this is a mod that we have not seen for pretty much about a year now and uh, I know that this is a very popular mod. So let's jump in and check out what's changed or what's been added or what's been left out and we'll take it from there. So first of all, we have a look at the cabins. Now we have the flat top or the, the mid-roof cabin. Personally, I don't like the look of that. Uh, and then we have the XL raised roof. So that's the one I'm going to be using today. Uh, chassis, we only have the 6x4 chassis. And then we have the, uh, the engines. We've got, let's see, Detroit Diesel, uh, the Cat C15. We have, there's Detroit Diesel again, C15, there's the 3406, uh, Detroit, and, and that, that's pretty much it. Right, well that's a few engines to choose from, uh, ranging from 425 all the way up to, whoa, 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 look at that, that's, is that 2000? That's 2100 horsepower. Uh, that's a decent size engine, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so it's, it's a good selection there, guys. So I'll, I'll have a look at those. So first of all, we'll have a look at the 60 series, and then we'll have a look at the other engines later on. Transmissions. All right, so we have Eaton Fuller RTLO. There's the 13-speed, 18-speed. There's a 6-speed there, 10-speed, and 13-speed and 18-speed with retarder. So uh, very, very good. I'm actually... 13 speed, the only one that doesn't have the retarder there is the 18 speed, oh no there we go, and the 13 speed down there. Uh, I'm going to go that one there, it's a 430, um, what else have we got, there's a 330, I'm going to choose 330, um, 430, no. Uh, Alright, so over to the interior, let's have a look at the interior here. Well it's good to see that this has stayed the same, it hasn't changed still looks very nice inside uh, let's have a look at the oh that just changes the shifter there we go so that's a custom shifter let's have the custom shifter shall we uh, then we go to paint jobs so that look there's a heap of different paint jobs that you can go uh, go with and there is the template there uh, now this template is very good because you can easily identify where the items are uh, where it's referencing because of the colors so you've got the top part there, you've got, you, you can, so when you're looking up on the bonnet, you can see that you can see that's green, uh, then you've got yellow, uh, your left side and your right side are both different colours, so that makes it really easy as well. And even on the back there is pink, so uh, that is a really good way of doing a template guys. Now you will have to extract the mod to get the template out, so uh, it's not too hard. If you've done modding before, you'll, you know, won't have any problems with it. Um, let's see, we got beiges, blacks, blues, uh, greens, reds, you know, there's heaps and heaps of colours here. Uh, custom colour, if you're not happy with any of the colours there, we've got a custom colour, which is pretty cool. There we go. And custom metallic colour. Let's check, I love to check this because sometimes you do catch the modders out. There's one and there's two. And look at that, there is three as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, then we got some metallic colors to choose from. Actually, look at that there. The dark red metallic looks really nice. Uh, there's a blue there. That looks nice as well. Oh, that's even... That's very nice. Look, there's heaps of nice colors to choose from there. Um, I'm going to go with... Uh, let's see. I'm going to make my own custom red. I love a nice metallic red. If I had a, a hot rod, it'd either be black with flames or a candy apple red, I reckon. One day I'll get a hot rod. Um, there we go. That that looks pretty cool. I'll leave it at that. Uh, then we have accessories. So there is tons of accessories to choose from, guys. Now, I do apologize if I do miss anything. I am trying my absolute hardest to get every single one of these dots it's just to give you an idea on how many different items there are here to choose. 
So you can see there's a few different bumpers there. There's even bull bar. Uh, I'm going to go the Texas rolled. Now you can go and put on some signs or lights or whatever you want. Um, you can see the even spotlights you can put on there, which is pretty cool. Now, uh, I did notice that some of these bumpers... Was that? Yeah, some of these bumpers you can't actually put on the fog lights. So there you go. There's fog lights that you can put on there as well. Um, but I'm going to go with the custom. So like a Texas rolled there without any lights. Uh, bull, uh, it says bull bar, but it's actually the grill there. You can go and put on lights and signs and, you know, long vehicle, oversized, that sort of thing, TIR you know, uh, different lights and horns and all sorts of things like that. Uh, if you've got plenty of time to do that, that's great. I don't, not today. Um, then we have the little light. It's a guard on the, the, you know, the light guard thing, just under the light. The classic XL there, and then there's the, it's sort of uh, white, isn't it? So and then there's a red painted one. There's a chrome one there as well. So I'm going to leave the chrome one on there. Now the lights. What have we got on the lights? We got lashes. See, there's got the little thing over the top. Can I zoom in? There we go. You can see there it's just got lashes on top of the, the lights there. I actually like those. I really like those on cars and trucks, actually. Um, then you have the grill here. That is awesome. That one there is uh, really cool. I think it might need to be updated. Look at that. Looking a bit sort of grainy there. Transformers. Freightliner, there's your you know whole heap of grills there. Look, slats going across. There's heaps of stuff. Um, let's put on today. I'm gonna put on the teeth. Why not? Teeth look good. You can put your classic badge in the middle there as well. All different colours, reds, blues. You know, there we go. There's a classic there. Um, I'm just gonna leave it as that there. Looks pretty cool. On the side there, there is your deflector. So your wind deflector. If you want to have that on there, uh, I'm going to put on chrome or there's glass. The glass one looks pretty cool. And then up the top there, there's your hood ornament. So you got the duck. There's your pinion. Uh, skull. Does the skull light up on this one? I don't know. It's very hard to see if the skull lights up or not. Goddess. Um, then there's the goddess too. Yeah, see there's different kinds. And then there is the eagle. I'm going to go the skull chrome. Because I want to see if that actually lights up later on. It looks like it does, doesn't it? When you look at it straight on. No, I think that's just... No, it's, it doesn't. But the eyes look like they are, anyway. Uh, there is the mirror. So you can have a mirror over there if you want to have that mirror. And I believe that that is the mirror over there as well. So you can have that as well. Uh bug deflector so you can have uh, the top part so I chose a glass one so I'll probably put a glass one on there as well um, that is a custom and then you've got the custom one with two down there as well pretty cool uh, I'm gonna choose glass the glass one um, then we have the logo on the side there you can have the classic flaming type logo there uh, I see that a lot on Kenworths, not Freightliners, but uh, anyway. Uh, then you can have, that's for the inside, that's a can. We'll have a look at that later. There's Parrot for the inside. There's the driver's plate, co-driver's plate. There is the dash. This stuff that we have a look here, we'll have a look at the inside um, later. Uh, that's the trimming around the outside. You can have Chrome, Chrome 2, Chrome 3, Chrome 4. And Chrome 5 if you like that. Um, I think if anything I'll have just that one there. Just a little bit of Chrome. Uh, that's the dash. That is your GPS. Uh, you can have, we'll have a look at that on the inside there. Windshield dots. Curtains. Is that uh, windshield dots? It says curtains. There's also with Sissel's Mega Pack that does work with this. You can put a whole heap of LED lights in there and stuff as well. So there's that shade long or short that I like. But there's also a whole heap of, um, you know, different uh, different ones you can add in there as well. Again, we'll have a look at that inside. You can see it a lot better in there. Your radio with your antennas. Antennas 2. 
and um, then we have up the top there is a sun visor I actually like uh, those I like that there with those lights I like those lights there but with that one but you can't do that it's, what a shame um, we're gonna see if I can go over here to get some of these other um, dots now this is for this window down here if you can just see it just under me there you can go plastic or chrome uh, we'll leave it on chrome shall we and then there is door handles as well you can uh, change those door handles uh, we'll leave those as chrome shall we right uh, didn't want to forget those because I, I've um, forgotten those in the past uh, then we have the air cleaner you've got three lights or five lights let's put on the five lights and then we have the oh, that's can for inside um, that is your air cleaner so you can have aluminum or chrome I think the chrome one looks much better uh, no I can't see any um, any little you know air cleaner you can't have the snorkels on the top guys so unfortunately um, then you have lights for your mirrors and then there is your main mirrors there you only got one choice and that is the uh, you know the two mirrors together which is pretty much what you need anyway I wouldn't have it any other way I don't like single mirrors on when I'm really driving uh, in the truck I don't do not like just single mirrors I love those double mirrors you know with the smaller ones you can see the um, the little cars easier uh, there's the uh, little anchor points there so you can put on a freight liner horn or you know your raw horn or whatever there you go there's freight liner horns uh, put on lights or whatever else you want to put on there let's put on uh, beacon lights on top there why not there you go um, now let's see if I can uh, that's your window trim on the side so that is basically you can see it adds a little lip there on the side there and uh, down the bottom um, what else have we got there we got those lights we got the main mirrors we got the uh, the side there of the visor you can have painted or chrome I'm gonna leave that as painted then we have up there oh that's right the roof lights the spotlights on the top and they probably don't work at the moment but um, we'll have a look at those later uh, the interior light if you want to have your interior light you can put that on there now this is the interior now I don't know if you can actually see this too well but there's brown interior you can go black interior blue interior uh, brown gray and red interior I think I'm gonna go black interior for the inside there um, that is the visor on the side we already said we're gonna paint that then there's the window trim uh, the headache rack for some reason is up the front there so you get to put on a headache rack or no headache rack whichever you want look I'm gonna put a headache rack on why not let's put one on there for a change uh, going down the side there there is tanks so you can have colored tanks or chrome tanks let's put on chrome and then the steps there you can have steps or additional uh, additional uh, heater is it? it says additional heater oh yes yes on the side there so yeah let's put those on I like the looks of those steps a lot lot nicer um, that is the fenders so we can quickly click through these fenders here get a few different choices of the same thing there and then there's those half ones and then those custom chrome sort of uh, half fenders uh, I am going to use those chrome ones there there we go uh, while we're here we may as well have a look at the wheels so there's the wheels are the standard standard type of wheels wheels and tires so we'll just put on the standard chrome and the nuts leave that cover off and that and then for the back here the uh, standard and there we go nuts and I'll leave the cover off there and standard and nuts there we go very nice and that is the well let's have a look that is the rear so you can do the like the whole rear as normal or you can put on a custom sort of look there I'm not really too keen on that 
Uh, while we're up here, we may as well have a look at the mud flaps so you can go uh, aluminum, paint, or chrome. Let's put on chrome. And then the mud flaps. There is a nice big choice here of mud flaps that you can choose. Um, I'm just going to go the. Uh, uh, you can't see it here, but there's like a, a bull with horns on there. I'm going to put that one on. I, I like that one. Uh, let's see. That is the rear. Yes, that is aero. So you can have a look at the aerodynamics, the little section there, that strip. Uh, plastic, chrome, aluminum or chrome. Let's put on chrome. Uh, that was the headache rack. That was the tanks. That was the steps. Uh, spinning it around. That is the exhaust. So you can change the exhaust. Now, it is a little bit sort of muddled up with where everything is. But you can see that there's some really cool exhaust there that you can add on. And you can really customize this to how you want it customized. Right, there we go. I think I'm going to leave those ones on there. They look pretty cool. Exhaust, uh, that's main mirrors. That is the Galaxy. We'll have a look at that later. Um, I think that is pretty much all for around there. Exhaust, main mirrors. Um... That is GPS, Parrot. Yes, we'll put Parrot on there. That's on the inside. Uh, no side mirror that I know of that I can see. Uh, that's the interior light. I think that's it, guys. Look, if there is anything that I did miss, I do apologize. There is so many dots here. It makes it really, really hard. Uh, now, let's have a look on the outside here. Uh, we have main mirrors. Then we have the window trim. This is probably the best place to choose your window trim. So... I actually think uh, that that custom one there is probably pretty cool. Then you've got your main mirrors, your air cleaner there uh, for your you know your lights, chrome or uh, sorry the chrome or aluminum air cleaner. Uh, if you're having problems, if you've got a low end system and you're having problems, take off a lot of the chrome. That'll uh, really you know stop it from chugging. Mirrors up the front there, take off those if you're having problems with with it um, being slow. Your computer can't handle it. Um, that is your trim for your gauges. You can see there that there's a few different kinds there that you can choose. Uh, shiny chrome trim, shiny chrome trim, trim with lashes. That's pretty cool. Chrome trim all lashes. There you go. That's pretty cool. I like that. Your steering wheel. Uh, only got that one steering wheel. Then you after that you've got your SC eye steering wheels and if you've got the Sissel's Mega Pack installed you can put in those steering wheels as well um, I am going to choose I'm just going to choose let's choose that one there choose that why not and you can put your knob on there as well put your big knob on there there we go put my 8 ball knob on there uh, bumper you can choose that from in there why you can choose that from in there I have no idea and there is your dash. So you can change the color of your dash. So different kinds of wood. I'm going to put it back on that one for now. Drink. You can put your Coke in there in your in your cup holder. Good truck is a good truck is a truck that has a drink holder, a really good drink holder, not just a pissy little one. Um, the one that I got now has a pissy little one, and it's terrible. Um, Oh, no, sorry, not the one I have now. The one I was driving before. Sorry, I had a pissy little one, and it was wouldn't hold your drink. As soon as you hit the brakes, your drink goes out of it. Uh, there's Parrot, uh, and then you can change your shifter. So uh, you can change it to any sort of different kind that you want here. Um, different woods, you know, metals, that sort of thing. So uh, shaft color. Go crazy here. I'm liking, I, I just like it standard like that. Don't really want it to be anything too different. Uh, I want to have the 18 speed there. And you can have that, um, your splitter is uh, black or whatever. There's your knob. You can paint your knob wooden color or whatever. Different kinds of woods. Um, again, I just like it black. Just normal shifter. There we go. And there you can change that as well to be wooden or whatever. Um, I'm just going to leave it normal. 
Right, that is the dash kit there. So you've got your switches and that little go aluminum or chrome. I'll make them chrome. Uh, over there, your dashboard dots. So you can go crazy with your dashboard dots there. And I'm going to put on hula. There's my hula hula girl. Got to have her on there. I need to buy one of those, I think, for real life and put it on the dash of my truck while I'm driving along. Entertain me. Um, and then we have the uh, uh, co-driver's plate, dash cam, put that on there. And then there is the, what's that? That's the mirror. You can see the mirror over there. It works well. That is that GPS that we were talking about before. Many different kinds of GPS you can have in here, different positions. Um, and, you know, go for your life, wherever you want to have it. Uh, there's your windshield dots if you want to have on some some banner or, or whatever you can do that Up the top there is your curtains So you can have those blinds. So if you got Sissel's mega pack installed, you can have a whole heap of different things in there There's those blinds and There's the big ones uh, Different curtains and all sorts of junk. Uh, I'm gonna take that out. Don't really need that at this point Visor, there's your sun visor. You can see that it does change from the inside, which works really good. And there is your CB. So you can have that in there. And what have we got there? That is a spot for hangy things. So you can hang, you know, rock and roll, cherry, whatever you want. There's heaps of stuff. If you've got Cecil's Mega Pack, sorry, Cecil's Mega Pack, it looks like it's doubling up a lot of that there. Um, I'm going to put on my uh, smelly tree. I like the... There we go. Uh, Born to rock, smelly tree. That's me all over. Uh, dash cam, trailer driver's plate. There's the dashboard sets. Um, there is a seat position there. So can we put in a passenger? Yes, we can. We can. I'm going to put in Juliet in there. Uh, and what else do we have over there? And that is the main mirrors. And that is pretty much everything. Uh, again, if I did miss anything, I do apologize. It's just an idea, just to give you an idea of how much detail is put into this truck. So let's go confirm. Thank you very much. Actually, I've always I keep forgetting to check this out. How much does it cost to put in a passenger? How much does it cost? It costs one thousand five hundred dollars to put a passenger in. Right, I own your ass now, Juliet. You're mine. Uh, let's do a trade-in. And there we go. We'll trade in on the last mod. Thank you very much. That looks very, very nice. Very nice indeed. And uh, spinning around the outside as we have a look. Look at that chrome. Chrome, chrome, and more chrome. It is crazy, isn't it? It is absolutely crazy the amount of chrome that you can put on this truck. That actually might be a little bit too much chrome. <laughs> or can you have too much chrome, really? I don't know. Some people would disagree with me and say, no, no, you can never have too much chrome. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. That one looks very, very chromey. So, um, right. Well, let's start her up. Oh, and before I forget, guys, this is the Volvo dealer down in Los... Uh, just your Volvo dealer, so there's a couple of them around. The one that I use is in Vegas. That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? There we go. All right, let's check the lights there. Lights are working uh, before I continue on. Um, you need to put on the front auxiliary and roof auxiliary. And uh, then you can go and turn the you know, high beams on when you turn those on. The lights on the top work. There we go. Uh, flashes. Uh, to get that menu up, I just pushed F4, guys. Uh, horn. Air horn. And uh, wipers. Yes, wipers are working. Very, very good. Good to see that. And uh, let's spin around. Put the brakes on. Reverse lights. Awesome. That is great. And you've got uh, indicators up the top there on the uh, headache rack, which is good. 
let's jump on the inside here. Sounds pretty good. Look at those, look at the gauges on there. That looks really cool. It looks like there is definitely a light underneath there. I love how they've done that. Look, that looks like real old school gauges. Look at that. That is great. Love it. Turn the uh, blinkers off and the wipers are working on the inside. Small wipers. There you go. And uh, cross your fingers. Uh, I'm going to just quickly save this. So let's go and save uh, save game. And I will save that as... Uh, Uh, classic let's go classic there we go and we'll save that that way if it does crash for whatever reason we can always back get back there so let's push display now cross your fingers ah that works perfectly look at that just what you want right well let's go over and check out some of these other engines there was only a couple of other ones to look at Oh, this is nice. So far, this is really nice to drive. Oh, this, it feels like a really cool truck to drive. Very nice. All right, so uh, let's jump in and check out these other engines. So to the upgrade shop and engine. Let's go the CAT C15, confirm. And then we'll go to the outside there we go and turn that on we got any errors by the way no oh, there is a couple of errors there does not exist item does not exist for the template okay and the freightliner chrome okay so there's a few different errors there um it's not causing it to crash so just bear that in mind. Uh, let's go to the upgrade shop again. And oh, thank you, Steam. Uh, what else have we got? We've tried the 60 series, the Cat C15, and then we have the 3406. And I believe that is everything. Confirm. Thank you. Spin that around. Start her up. All right very very good so there we go that is all the engines that you get with this that is really cool let's have a look at that skull I just want to check out that skull on the front there it sort of looks like it is lighting up I have to check it out at night time uh, I've only just started driving this and it feels great to drive it really as you would expect this truck to drive it, it feels exactly like that so um some mods you get where it just doesn't feel you know like it's meant to but this one you're expecting oh, 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 oh. whoa that was close you're expecting the truck to you know drive like an older truck and that's how it feels so I think this is really cool look the thing is is that this is a good mod in the past it's been very popular and I think it still is a very good mod so the changes that have been made for this uh, have helped to improve it and it still you know has got some pretty good things in there so um, it looks good it sounds good it drives well what more do you want in a mod guys um, you know so definitely give it a go if you want to download this and check it out the link is in the description so please click on that link and check it out um, and then you know if you you know if you think it's worthy of the weekly drive then have your vote then so guys if you would like to see this in the weekly drive then punch that like button in the ass and make sure that you have your vote because your vote counts 
And if this is the first time you've seen Junior Cena Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Cena Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.